It is absolutely true that everyone who is married or otherwise has a lover believes that the story of how they met and fell in love is wonderful and full of fate and at the same time happenstance and that somehow they would not be with their lover had but one teeny tiny event in their life gone just a little bit different. The incidents that follow are presented to you exactly as they happened, of course as best as they can be expected to be remembered by those involved. At the time of the beginning of this story, Orlando was a rather large, sprawling city, and it was quite possible that one could live and work in Orlando for an entire lifetime and not know or even be acquainted with everyone. And so it was for Andrea and Trevor. For nearly ten years they lived in the same city, frequented the same places, but never met each other. Until one day they did, in Mexico. Andrea had volunteered to go on a medical mission trip to Merida, Mexico. Being fluent in both English and Spanish, she was of obvious value to the medical team. Trevor, on the other hand, had been tasked with creating a documentary about the organization and their work. Like a moth to a flame, Trevor was drawn like a magnet to her smile and engaging conversations. And like the Millennium Falcon caught in the tractor beam of a Star Destroyer, Andrea was captured by his personality that was a strange mixture of artist and nerd. Outsiders might claim that tamales and tequila played a role in bringing these two together. After all, it is entirely impossible to go to Mexico and not drink tequila. The truth is, however, it was over cappuccinos and ice cream that the seeds of this romance were watered and took root. Once back in Orlando, Andrea made the first move. Dear Trevor, I had fun hanging out with you in Mexico. Here's my number if you want to hang out in America. Trevor, full of impulse and quick to pull the trigger of love, wasted no time and asked her on their first official date. Two months later. And as far as first dates go, theirs on June 27th was rather ordinary. Trevor, having remembered from conversations in Mexico, Andrea's particular likes and dislikes, chose a romantic sushi dinner, though he personally had never acquired a taste for such unprocessed food. Following dinner, they meandered around Lake Eola, as many lovers do, sharing stories of childhood memories and dreams of the future. And it was on a park bench on Church Street where Trevor explained he had hoped to one day fall madly in love and get married. Andrea then professed that she wasn't interested in getting married, ever. This engaging conversation continued and eventually the evening ended without incident, if you know what I mean. Andrea and Trevor carried on like this for some time and became engaged at the famous Taj Mahal in India. On June 28, 2014, precisely two years and one day after their first date, Andrea and Trevor had a small party during which the two exchanged vows, rings, and a kiss on the lips and entered holy matrimony. We are gathered here today to launch Andrea and Trevor on the adventure of a lifetime, AKA holy matrimony. It's been said that there are four billion women in the world, Trevor. Today, you are forsaking 3,999,999,999, and you are saying you want one in your life. That's right. <laughs> Andrea, my challenge for you would be that you would have as much success in your marriage as you've had professionally. That as much as you have grown and blossomed as a woman, that you would grow and blossom as a wife for Trevor. We're gathered here today to ask God's blessing upon this marriage, the union of two lives, this is the only place where one plus one still equals one. What God joins together today, may no one ever separate. Well, babe, you look so good. I'm gonna put you on a plate and stop Stop you up with a biscuit. (laughs) (laughs) Andrea, for many years I waited. I waited for love. I waited, I waited, I waited. To recap, I wrote a poem. Does anybody have a tissue? Dang. 
Hello Kitty. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm man enough for that. <laughs> All right. Roses are red, violets are blue. Zippity doo da. I love you. I, I love your smile, your hair, and tu familia, which is Spanish for family. I love a lot of things about you, but nothing else rhymes with familia. I will make a few promises that I plan to keep. That if that if I ever do make you upset, or even make you weep, I will never leave your side. My love for you runs deep. I want to be married to you. So what do you say? There's no better time than right now, right here, today. I love you. Wait. Wait, 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 wait. Um, my darling Trevor, I will love you always. I've been told that since I've met you, um, a side of me has been revealed. All of a sudden, all of a sudden, weddings, unconditional love, children, marriage, love everlasting are not things that I roll my eyes to anymore. <laughs> um, you've shown me that they're real. I vow to be faithful to you and to create a loving family, whether it's us or with 10 dogs. A family that my mom, I know has, my mom and dad have always prayed for. And I know that your mom prayed for you. And I'm going to make them both proud. I promise to make a relationship a priority where our family is the most important thing in my life. I will love you. Thank you for being my purse. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome. By the power vested in me, I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may now kiss the bride. <laughs> Trevor never really acquired a taste for sushi. Tamales and tequila, well, at least tamales, make a regular appearance at their dinners. <laughs> 